Hey everyone, let's make some bread. Let's see if we can make it taste kind of like sourdough bread. What we're going to do is use a, hopefully, will that work? Nope. So I'm going to go with a smaller. I'm going to put in, yeah, that works. Two half cups of uh, sourdough starter, which makes one cup. I know you're not stupid. I just uh, thought I would say that. I know it hadn't been three weeks, but hey. Okay, come on. So now, the actual sourdough has proofed, so, uh, or the st sourdough starter has already proofed. I'm not sure how this is going to come out, but we are going to find out. It may make it lighter, and it may ruin it. So since we've got one of those, the sourdough starter, one cup of the sourdough starter, we're only going to use three cups, four cups of all-purpose flour. There's one. Three. Let's start it with this. Oop. Can I get that wrong? I've been having a rough day today, I tell you what. Come on! One of these days I will buy a blender. So we got the equivalent of right now three cups. And that's the equivalent of four cups. Now, we can smell it too. Now we can put in a quarter cup of uh, cooking oil. Vegetable oil.
And we're going to use a teaspoon and a half of salt. I told you I'm having a rough day. Bank on there, you old son of a gun. And we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Get on in there, you. That should be equal to five cups. Now you have to go a little bit more flour. Okay. As you do this enough, you'll figure out what the what the dough consistency is that you want. Okay. Now we got a bit of a ball here. Like I say, maybe one of these years. If you want to, you can send me a, a good blender or mixer. <laughs> and a Dutch oven. Should have gotten some flour on 
on my hands and on this and actually keep it from clumping and sticking to the sides. Oh, come on. By the way, if any of y'all were the 400 that got deleted from my uh, my subscription and uh, you didn't do it, please re-add yourself. Because I did not delete you, someone from uh, who knows deleted you. Okay. But it was almost like it was on purpose. Because I cannot add anybody's account anymore. And they said if I come up with uh, the information they wanted, which was the URLs for, I guess, everyone, which is going to be, that's impossible. Then they'll look into it or something like that. And personally... I think I'm getting run around all the way. So I may have to take a trip and visit them. And find out just exactly what goes on in the day in the life of a uh, a YouTube employee. Okay, now I'm going to leave that for an hour until it doubles. So I'm going to put it down in the oven so I can turn back on the air conditioner. And we will see you all in an hour unless you just want to sit here and watch. <laughs> I don't think so. So we'll see you all in an hour. Okay, I couldn't show you how it did when it was rising on the first rise because it actually tripled in size. I am not joking. It was coming out the sides over the lips of the uh, of the bowl, the mixing bowl. And uh, this should be ready to cook, to bake, and uh, maybe... 15 minutes, it's rising fast. I mean, like, super fast. Don't know what it tastes like, but if it's rising that fast, uh, it should be good. So we're going to find out here in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. We'll be, well, this was actually uh, half the size as it was now when I put it in the in the bread dishes. And so... It's already doubled in size. It's like it's got some uh, 
super yeast in there. But, you know, what I did is, is I used the uh, uh, natural yeast from the air along with regular yeast. So it may be nice and flaky. We'll find out uh, after it's done. But I'll show you when it gets to be about an inch above the pans here. And that's when I'll, uh, when it gets even with the top of the pans, when I'll fire up the oven and uh, an inch above it, I'll put them in. So we'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, it took 24 minutes to get about an inch higher than the, uh, than the top of the uh, bread pan. Uh, normally it was taking a lot longer than that. So it's ready to bake. I actually put a pizza pan on the, on the level that I'm going to bake it on, just in case this poofs up and goes over. Okay, so we'll see y'all in about uh, 35 minutes. And we'll see how it looks. Talk to you then. Bye. Okay, so they just came out of the oven. Actually about 11 minutes ago. Had to let them cool to take them out of the bread pan. And they're still warm. Let's see what we got. It's a soft dough or a soft uh, bread. As you can see, it's it's like the bread you get at the store. It's got the same uh, softness and everything. have to figure out I could cut it I guess okay time for a taste Melts in your mouth. It's very good. Light. It did not pick up any of the uh, sourdough taste at all, which I'm kind of surprised about. But like I say, it did come out lighter, and it uh, it saved you some time on the risings and everything. Delicious.
Now, if you're going to do this, I'm going to recommend putting a pizza pan or something on the uh, shelf. when you do the uh, first and second risings if you use the oven because the first rising it tripled itself I opened it up and I had dough coming all the way down between the grates of the shelf so yeah I would uh, <laughs> if I were you I would put a, a pizza pan or something like that underneath it but this was an experiment, and it went really well, and it went really fast. So I hope y'all got something out of this. Now you know you can use, uh, you could probably use your, uh, your, uh, discard from the, You could use your discard from the uh, sourdough if you wanted to. You could probably, I'm thinking, you could probably use more than just the one cup that I put in. And you might get a different uh, flavor and such. That'll be for a different day. Okay, so for now... I hope y'all enjoyed this, and it was not too long. Um, remember, if you try it, leave a, leave a note down below and let me know how it came out. And if you were one of the 400 that, uh, that got unsubscribed somehow to my account, please resubscribe. I can't subscribe to anybody. And... Uh, and they're kind of working on it so who knows okay if you try this just remember it's your kitchen your rules uh you own it be proud of it and if you're in a warm place go swimming if you're in a cold place find a warm place to go swimming if you can't do that snuggle up and we'll talk to y'all later stay safe bye